Today we are going to go over a, a rapid, rapid review, review of Fiddler, Georgia Heartwood. And it's a Total Wine store pick from ASW Distillery. Let's go! Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the outside whiskey corner. It, uh, the sun is going away. It's in the evening now, so it is uh, almost night for me. Not sure when you guys are going to see this, probably in the morning, the next morning, but I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. And if you can do me the favor, one favor is to like this video that is truly appreciated another favor is to subscribe yep that is it so as you probably seen on my short i am barbecuing and i am drinking asw distillery fiddler georgia heartwood now while they make their own georgia heartwood and they put it out you can actually buy it at the distillery you can buy it in different uh, stores around my way the only way that you can actually buy it is a single barrel store pick and this one is a total wine now I did see these sorry getting stung by mosquitoes now I did see these in Georgia and they were just the regular non store picks non single barrels there now if you don't know Georgia Heartwood this is a single barrel this particular one is a single barrel cast strength and this one is at 116 proof yes yeah, sorry a lot of mosquitoes 116 proof so 58% alcohol and what it is is that it's bourbon whiskey refinished with hand harvested charred oak staves so it already sounds amazing has a cool little bottle has a cool little uh, guitar on the front and it's a single barrel that is um, castrated right but it is a weeded bourbon right that's what they don't tell you well on the back it does say weeded and repeated so American Spirits is the distillery I think ASW is American Spirits whiskey maybe not sure uh, but you guys can look them up on their website ASW distillery now they're in Jackson County Georgia and this says weeded and repeated so it is a weeded bourbon now it is pretty freaking good right it's sourced from MGP but then they distill it and blend it there in uh, Georgia so we're gonna have a taste of it we're gonna see if it is worth $70 price tag so let's get into it now like I said this one is 116 proof so it's already in my wheelhouse so you know I'm gonna like this because my wheelhouse is between a hundred and a hundred and twenty five I would say um, that's what I like maybe 95 to 125 but um, let's go in for a nose and then a taste definitely get that proof right from the beginning it's good though it burns your nostrils but it's good <laughs> mm, you're getting some very very sweet caramel um, I'm tasting a little bit of like dusty corn if that makes sense now it has to you have to kind of adjust to it right because right off the bat the proof is burning your nostrils but now I'm getting the sweet caramel you're getting a little bit of like that like uh, that corn smell maybe like some raisins or cranberries and some wood quite honestly um, it smells good it definitely smells inviting um, not too strong other than the proof right so let's go in for a drink cheers so I gotta say 
I love the way it feels in your mouth. It's filling and it kind of hits all the crevices nice and smooth. You get that caramel, you get some brown sugar or some burnt sugar. Um, you get a little bit of oak, right? Some honey. It's definitely a little bit different than the regular bourbon taste of like vanilla, caramel, cherries that I get usually. There's something else there, right? Which is good and that's what I like. Cheers. There's a little bit of nutty flavor. There's some spices also in the back. Oh, okay. So now I'm getting a little bit of like vanilla, right? Like a vanilla that you'll taste like in a yogurt type of thing. Um, it's really good, guys. And if it wasn't for the spiciness, and maybe that's what I was smelling, maybe that's what was burning my nostrils. If it wasn't for the spiciness, this thing would be so easy going down, quite honestly. You wouldn't even tell that it's 116 proof. At least I wouldn't. Uh, but that spiciness does kick it up, so it makes you think that that's an ethanol kick, but it's really just spiciness. I'm getting a little bit of raisins again there, maybe grapes. Let's go in for the last sip. Cheers. I'm getting some spices now. Maybe some nutmeg, some cloves, some allspice. These mosquitoes are killing me, so I'm about to go inside. Um, overall, it's a great balancing experience. This is a great bottle. At 70 bucks, I think is what I bought it. Maybe 75 bucks. Now, I mean, would I buy it again? I think that if I'm done with this one, I'll try it again. I might want to try another ASW distillery, but this bottle has made me want to try some other things that they have, definitely. Because before this, I have never tried any ASW distillery, distillery bourbon, and this one made me a believer. So now I want to try some more of their things. I know when I was in Georgia, I, tr I saw a handful of them and here in my area we have something called unison also which i believe is a bourbon but it's lower proof i think it's like 90 95 proof so it's not as proofy as this one but i, I think i would give it a try and that one's like 40 bucks i believe so i think when i'm done with this one i'm gonna go for that unison see how that tastes and try to see if I find some other ones from ASW Distillery or on my next trip to Georgia. Maybe see if I can visit their distillery because this has made me a believer. And if you see this around, definitely try to buy it. If you ever take a trip around the Southeast area, I'm sure that they'll have some kind of ASW Distillery. Definitely look for this Fiddler one because I don't know if all of them are this good, uh, this one is really freaking good, but you guys already know I like my charred um, bottles, <laughs> I like my charred bourbon, so this definitely goes hand in hand. I have a Penelope bourbon that's charred in there, and I think I'm going to do a comparison between these two because they're both on point. And that one cost me $90, this one cost me $75, so it's around the same price point. Either way, let me know if you guys checked this out. Have you tasted this? What was the most that you uh, spent on this? And let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below. Please check out the uh, Patreon in the descriptions. Any little bit counts. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. I need you to like this video. Please do me that favor and subscribe. And please go enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.